shot. Beautiful shot. Your small side on, use your right side. Morning legends. It is Monday morning. It is a public holiday here in Perth. I'm down at Richardson Park. It's quarter past seven. I've got Joey here putting his gear on. We are getting an early morning hit in. Absolutely a cracking morning. The weather is changing the last week or so. It's going from cold to warmer. So really looking forward to the summer. Out here is the centre wicket. I'm playing here next weekend on the Sunday. Doesn't look like a wicket at the moment, so hopefully they've got a fair bit of work going into it in the next 12 days or so, so that we can get out there and have a hit in a couple of weeks. But big day coaching ahead. No one's at work or school today, so coaching a lot of the day. Hey vlog, just at home. It is 11:30. Um, had a great session with Joey this morning. I am now doing some admin, getting today's Monday motivation uh, email ready. It's an email I send out every Monday. If you're not on our email list, you're missing out. I put in a bunch of great resources, give you a little snapshot on what's happened in the past week. All the links um, to our um, videos that we've published, our articles, etc., but also some content that I've uh, found over the week that are, is really, really interesting, really beneficial. Today, um, oh, there's, I'm putting in a video from a lady on how to overcome choking. Um, it's called Why We Choke Under Pressure and How to Avoid It. It's really, really interesting. Um, I came across it a few days ago and now I'm sharing it with our community in the Monday Motivation email. So doing this, working from home because it's a public holiday um, and then starting coaching at two o'clock. So a little bit more admin, some video editing to come and then coaching all afternoon and evening. Right. Don't rush. Get your process right. The thing with sort of what we were just talking about, um, not sort of not hitting the fielders as well, it's just a, it, it's an experience thing. Like you can't, it's really hard to train in the nets without any fielders. Yeah. Like we can say oh, there's a man there, but then it's always a bit your interpretation could be a bit different to mine whether it was in a gap or not. Yeah. So the act when you've actually physically got a mid off, a cover, a point, and you see them and you know where the gaps are, you know how hard you can hit it, you know what angles you have to hit it to beat them. Yeah. It's just learning through doing, it's yeah. learning through experience. So the more time you can spend in the middle, the more you can sort of learn, I suppose. Yeah. Shot code. That back foot's come on dramatically. Good, well watched. Don't mind that at all, as long as you're committing forward or back. That was good. What was the difference? Oh, I moved back and forth in my feet. It was up. Probably got there pretty early, so I'm just going to yeah, yeah. I think I think you're right. I think technically you're in a better position, but I think also that one was a bit closer. Yeah. The one before was probably a fraction wider, and maybe a ball to leave rather than sort of poke at. Shot code. Same length ball as the ball before, yeah. different outcome. That was probably what you should have done the ball before, come forward, but ball before you still played it well because you, at least you got back and you were balanced and stable when you hit it. Shot boy. Yeah, just lost your top wrist a little. Everything was nice though, you moved into it beautifully. Nice footwork, head was forward, you just lost that top wrist a little. Yeah, yep, but you sort of hit it late. You hit it into the ground next to you, which was good. You didn't lose control, you just lost power. Shot, Cody. Good boy. What'd you do well there? I felt like I was holding, I was still at the waistline when you were going to come forward and back. Put my hand into it, and I was up. Technique was pretty good. Yeah, excellent. Good decision. To move, reacted to the ball nicely, and then your technique was good. Well done. Nine off 19. 
9 off 20. Nice technique. Probably no run gone back towards the keeper, unfortunately. 9 off 22. Well, Bold, not giving you much width or much to play with. 9 off 23. Good batting. Excellent batting. How do you think how do you think you're going? Pretty good. I think it's just like I'm playing most shots pretty well and it's just it's a tiny bit of adjustment and I'd probably be 20, mm. 24. It's in, yeah. It's just like you you've got your technique working so nicely that you're blocking everything, you're getting great positions, blocking everything down the wicket, which is so good for when the ball's moving red ball cricket. But in white ball cricket, come up here, we wanna we wanna really you sort of got to manipulate your bat face that little bit more and get into just that slightly different positions to hit the ball probably a bit squarer. Red ball cricket, we really want to try and hit through there early in our innings. White ball cricket, you almost want to go in front of point, behind point and square because yeah. those gaps are always going to be blocked and it's then it's about also taking pace off the ball, which you've done nicely off the back foot a couple of times. It's just that forward defence, if you can just soften those hands and roll it in here, and then just get that fraction further across to bunt it in there, that's your guts. And then when the loose ball does come, you're putting it away. Yeah. And maybe it's, it's also a point, just come this way for a sec, it's just a point of um, at some point you might have to sort of just, just get across your stumps a little bit or whatever just to give you that, to get like, for me, if I'm, I want, don't want the bowler to like dominate me. Yeah. So I want to sort of make sure that they know that I can hit the ball where I want to hit it. And if they then over pitch, I might get one to hit through mid wicket. Or if they bowl good length, I might just sort of drop it at my feet. I'm already halfway down. I might go a bit straight. I can clip through square leg. But even if I don't score off that ball, at least it's making them think as well. They might have to change something. They might bowl a slow ball. It might b bounce me or something. So just something to think about as well if you need other options. But also just keep sort of thinking about how to run it down as well. Because that's such a skill to be able to let it run off the face from a good position down to third man. Playing nicely though, your technique's so good. Oh, there's four. Bad bowling. Well played. Good. Good, single. Wide, re-bowl it. 15-30, like that. Yes, great batting. There's four big ones. Quality. So you can always catch up as long as you don't panic. 19.33, good. So yeah, I think like obviously you've just had that experience and what we want to make sure you do is that if you're in that situation or a similar situation again, you've learnt from that one. So what do you think you could do differently next time? Well, the ball probably wasn't there. That actually hit for a swing. Yeah. Pitched a bit short to do that. So what do you think? What do you think you were thinking about, or what were you saying to yourself before that ball? Were you thinking, okay, I want to hit a four, or yeah, yeah, score. yeah? Is that because there were, is that because there were a few dots beforehand, or because you hadn't hit a boundary in your innings? Because they'd been dots. Okay, so I think then we've got to realise that it's okay to face dots. Yeah. Like if you face a few dots, it doesn't mean you have to hit a boundary. That's something you've got to like really come to terms with because as you progress the bowling's going to get better you're going to get less boundary balls and then it's about putting it away when you do get it but not trying to force it yeah yeah, yeah. good um where'd you score your singles and your doubles where'd you score your runs uh, probably backward square or cover yeah off front and back foot yeah any what cover drives yeah cover drives pulls a few pulls yeah Good. Excellent. So what did you do well in that innings then? I watched the ball. Yeah. Apart from the one I got out of. Yeah, um, good. Played the shot that needed to be played. Like, didn't try and play on the front foot when it was short. Yeah, good. Was that on turf? Yeah. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Like lilac. Cool. All right, well done. What do you want to practice today then? Uh, a bit more pace. Yeah. Get a bit quicker and like variations like slow balls, trying to pick a different ball from okay. a lot. All right. Well, let's start on the flicker then. Yeah. Decent pace, right. decision making, yeah. like a game.
and then we can move on. Right. Yep. Shot, Mole. Whatever shot you play, try and just hold that position. Hold your weight in your right foot for a cut and a pull. Hold your weight in your front leg for a front foot shot. Lovely shot, Mo. Good. How's this for pace? Okay. Shot. Good. Keep watching the ball and then reacting. Nice, clear mind. Well played. Stay there. Okay, yep. Bat swing was excellent. It came through straight. The ball came straight. Just got to try and get across. You cover your off stump. That's the danger. That's the danger. So the ball before you got away with it, but that one front on, squared right up, Nick. So we've just got to keep trying to get side on, side on as well. Not front on. Shot. So just check that grip. Open that bat face a little bit. That's it. Better, one of the better ones. Good. Not bad, a little bit back and away from it. Deep breath, reset. Try and hit it next to your knee. Try and hit it right next to your knee under your eyes. Yes, good, nice footwork, nice upper body, excellent. Shot boy. Yes, Benny. Fabulous. That's leg. That's middle and leg. Right, nice and sharp. These are going to be challenging. Quick. You've got to move fast. I want it to be sort of out of your comfort zone, out of normal pace, so that when you go back to normal pace, it feels easy. Roll left. Try and take your front leg with you. It's just holding you back from getting your weight across. Well done. Back foot was better. Good. Good. You can still go further, but better. Well done. Got to take that front leg with you. Yeah. Good, Jacko. Better. Better. Yeah. Better. Side on that. Your back foot could have gone further, but your front foot came with it and stayed side on, so you lined up much better. Good, mate. Hey, vlog, I'm just standing by the camera with the baseball mitt on, ready to catch it in case Travy whacks one. I've got Trav's dad, Graham, feeding balls while Trav smacks him out the park. Lovely striking. Yes, brilliant, staying low, side on. That is money. Look at the smile on him. <laughs> Lovely shot. Good. Got a bit front on that time, lost your power. Shot, beautiful shot. Your small side on, used your right side. Okay, just try and hit a few over my head now. Try and go a bit straighter over the bowler, over mid off. Good. Great shot. Yeah, got him. Great shot. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Staying in your shape. Good, swing all the way through. Really extend through. Want a nice flow of the bat. Yes, good, keep aiming straight. Aim straight and then if you come across it early, you'll hook it to mid wicket. Yes, boy, can you feel that? You're really side on, you're not spinning open at all. You're getting power. Yeah, all right, well done. Really good, Travi. Better than you've hit them straight in the, like in the air in a long time, I reckon. Yeah. It's literally just because you're staying in it longer rather than that, yeah. or, or sort of dragging it. When you stay down in it, banging them. Quality. Thanks, Graham. 
Well, legends, that's the end of a busy day coaching, a lot of coaching, plus the Monday motivation email um, and some video editing, some admin. So hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been a lot of um, content around my sessions. I wanted to give you guys quite an insight into what my sessions are like. I try and make sure every session is individualized and the player works on what they are wanting to or needing to work on. It's not driven by me. I make the players take ownership of their game. They tell me what they've done, where they're at, and then we work out what was best for them in that session. Some players have a real specific idea when they come in what they want to work on. Others aren't sure, and we, we talk about it and we get to something after that. So hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know what you found interesting. Please let me know what you um, learnt. Please leave a comment below. I'll be hanging out in the comments tomorrow once this is published. So please um, tell me what you're liking, what you want to see more of, and I'll try and continue to make the vlogs so that you guys enjoy them and you stay entertained and, and engaged in our content. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon, legends.